Hey, Aaron with Growlong, UglyWeeds.com here. Today I'm gonna to do a demonstration on our tree and shrub care fertilization application. And so what I'm doing now is I'm mixing up some, um, some aerate, some, some dethatch, which has got molasses in it, and some flora green. And so this stuff, this stuff is the gold right here. Totally safe, organic product, not gonna hurt me but your plants are absolutely gonna love this along with the, the fertilizer and micronutrients that it's gonna get today. So stay tuned, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all this stuff in the tank and then we're gonna start spraying some trees and shrubs. Stay tuned. All right, so today I'm in Benbrook. I'm back at our, our property that we've been working on. And today I'm gonna spray the trees and shrubs with humic acid, sea kelp, molasses, um, some nitrogen, and some potassium. Right now it's uh, early March and we're starting to uh, get a little warmer and the trees and shrubs are gonna need some nutrients. They've gone through a, the dormant season and they're gonna be starting to green up and they're gonna need those nutrients to be green and healthy. So that's what we're gonna do here today. So stay tuned and we're gonna treat this property. Ooh, that's where the gold is right there, yo. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread this liriope over here first. It's got some yellowing, and uh, the tree and shrub mix has some iron in it, so that'll help with that, that yellow color. This, this, this has a lot of yellowing in it too, here. And so that iron will help, the iron and nitrogen will help green that up. I'm gonna spray in the, in the, the drip line of this tree. Also gonna spread the foliage. The backyard is looking really clean. This is full of weeds the first time we sprayed it. This, the yard, this yard has had two applications so far. It's looking pretty clean. You remember? Remember how weedy it was? Yeah, okay. Yeah, remember all the weeds that are along this sidewalk? They're all gone. I'm not gonna spray the foliage on these. It's a little windy, and I'm gonna try to keep the, uh, keep the drift down, so I'm only gonna spray the ground. Even then, it's a little, a little drifty back here. Spray that hand bit. It likes fertilizer too, unfortunately. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying the leaves of these shrubs, lightly spraying the leaves. I have the product at a, at, at, a, at a rate that I can spray the foliage. It's not gonna burn anything. It's early March, so I'm not worried about the heat. And the, but the lion's share of this product is gonna be absorbed in the, through the root zone. So I'm spraying underneath the shrubs here so the roots can take up a lot of this product. A lot of the nitrogen and potassium that's in the product is going to be real beneficial when this is coming out of dormancy. Like I said, it's early March. These plants are going to be starting to wake up a little bit and having those nutrients in place is going to really help them a lot. Also the humic acid is going to add beneficial carbon. It's going to help the cation exchange capacity. Basically what that means is going to be able to hold more nutrients. And the, the humic acid is also going to chelate a lot of the products that are already in the soil like iron and uh, calcium, phosphorus, those sort of things. Because in this area, the Fort Worth area, Dallas, we all have a high pH. So whatever we can do to help balance that pH is gonna be really beneficial. Humic acid is one of those um, to help neutralize pH. 
elemental sulfur and peat moss is, is uh, what you really need to apply to, to lower your pH. Also, the molasses that I have in this spray today is going to add some sugar. It's just going to get those microorganisms moving in the soil when the temperature's right. The iron in the spray is going to help green up along with the nitrogen. The potassium is going to help with uh, recovery from the winter, recovery from heat, be able to withstand more heat. These are yopons. They're pretty indestructible. They don't get a whole lot of insect disease problems. Unlike Iliagnus, they're, they're prone to getting scale and golden unanimous gets a lot of scale. Crack myrtles get crack myrtle bark scale and aphids. So you do have that kind of thing in your landscape. Insect and disease control is going to be something you're going to be looking for. And we do offer that. That's part of our program. Today, part of the program, what I'm doing is fertilizing with biostimulants. And that's it. So today, I applied nitrogen, potassium, humic acid, molasses, sea kelp, oh, and liquid aeration. So all of these plants today got a little bit of liquid aeration. So the, 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 the soil around here is clay. And so when I can apply this liquid aeration, it's just gonna help the water and air and everything else get deeper down into the soil um, without, without tillage. We sprayed some Dallas grass right through here on this property a couple weeks ago. We did a video on that. And as you can see, the Dallas grass is dying and the Bermuda probably isn't affected at all. So stay tuned. I'll come back in a couple weeks and see what kind of results we've gotten. Some of this, this yellowing that you're, gonna, you're seeing in the leaves right now should be completely gone. So stay tuned.